Andrea Grimes here with more on Matthew. Andrea? Chris and Mary, schools and government offices are closed today in more than two dozen counties in South Carolina alone as evacuations there begin ahead of the storm. As you mentioned, at least 11 people have died so far in the Caribbean, five of them in Haiti. Floodwaters rushed the streets of Port au Prince, Haiti after Hurricane Matthew made landfall. The destruction is being called the largest humanitarian event in the country since the historic earthquake in 2010. Government leaders are not even close to surveying the true extent of the damage and impact, especially since many roads are impassable and phone service was down. The powerful storm that's been churning in the Caribbean made landfall in Cuba last night and is now heading for the Bahamas. Here in the U.S., people along the southeastern coastline are also bracing for the potential impact and stocking up on supplies. Forecasters predict Matthew could hit Florida tomorrow night. We're buying a bunch of canned food, a bunch of water, your batteries, and your lanterns, and your flashlight. Florida's governor warned people to prepare for a possible direct hit and line up three days worth of food, water, and medicine. In South Carolina, you can see heavy traffic on I-26 as residents leave Charleston. Our goal is to make sure that you basically get 100 miles away from the coasts. South Carolina's governor says starting today, they're evacuating all coastal communities so that one million people will have time to leave before Matthew arrives. North Carolina and Georgia are also bracing for Hurricane Matthew. The White House says workers are moving relief supplies to emergency staging areas in the southeast. Chris. Andrew, thank you. Time now is 502. Time for